thick thing of grease in there. I'm gonna put it back together. Okay, pop it back in. I'll put that thrust washer in there. Now, got those marks so you can put this on properly. And there's a uh, plate here that's going to need to be lined up and those screws put back in too. Okay, I'm screwing that plate in. And also, those screws tight. Marks lined up. Okay. I have it down flush. Put the long bolts, holding it all together back in. Etc. Okay, tighten up those bolts. Do one side and the other side. A little bit tight first. And pretty tight all together. Okay. Okay. Yeah, nicely it spins now. So what we've done is wired it to the 460 volt circuit. Shown on the label. There's these, and you got three wires. Now we're going to be hooking up uh, the actual circuit to the power grid and using the run caps and the start caps it's all pretty easy okay now I'm gonna run the rotoverter I have three wires one two and three the number one wire will go directly to the power grid and I have an ammeter in line here's the power coming in on this green wire it comes out the yellow wire, goes through the ammeter. It's on 10 amps AC. And then it feeds the number one wire. So that goes right to the power grid. The other wire from the grid goes to number two. Okay. So one and two receive the power, the AC power, 120 volts, 60 hertz. And between two and three goes the run capacitor, which is an AC capacitor. This one happens to be 4UF. So I'm going to hook that up right now. Just remember two and three has the capacitor between it, lines two and three. And number two shares the same terminal. So this green wire is going to hook to number two right here. Actually, I'm going to put that right on it. Okay, so here's number one. Number two goes to one side of the AC capacitor. 
Number three goes to the other side of the AC capacitor. All right. Let's say it one more time. Uh, number one receives power directly from the grid, and I have an ammeter in here, in line, so we can see how much current's being drawn. Number two goes on one side of the AC cap. Number three goes on the other side of the AC cap. Very simple. Now, to get it started, you have a start cap, which will have a greater UF value than the run cap. So here's the start cap right here. It's a 124 UF. Put that in parallel with the run cap. See the green? It's right in parallel. So it's actually about 128 UF, considering this is 4 UF value. Now, I'm going to, after this gets running, I'm going to add another capacitor, run capacitor, and this is only 2 UF. And I'm going to be hooking this in parallel to the run cap. And you'll see how the draw goes down because you actually change the UF value of the run cap according to the load that the motor's uh, returning. And right now it's just going to be idling. So, so here we go. I got the start cap hooked up in parallel with the run cap. Number one to the grid. Number two is one side of the AC. Number three is the other side of the AC. Here's some power right here. Here's what's going to connect it up. As soon as I plug this in, watch the amps. It'll be fairly high amps as it starts up. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the start cap after it gets going and the amps will drop down. The engine tone will change. It's going to go to about 0.35 amps, I believe it's going to be. So here we go. Start it up. Okay, now this is where the start cap going. It's four, four amps it's drawing. Now I'm going to disconnect the start cap. It drops down to about 0.32 amps being drawn. And now I'm going to change it from, I'm going to put this 2UF cap in parallel with the uh, existing 4UF run cap right here. And now it's going to drop down to about 0.25. See? And now what you want to do is uh, have like a 1 UF value caps and either add or subtract until you get the very absolute lowest draw. And when you turn something with a shaft, you want to adjust the UF value of the cap. Let me take this off. Okay, it's going 3,450 RPM right now. You see it run. So it was drawing about uh, 24, 25, 26 watts. And uh, so there you go. That was the rotoverter. Uh, very basic, running off the power grid. Now if you want to uh, get better, do better things with it, uh, you want to have like a running off an inverter and have a frequency adjustment, have a pulse width adjustment inside the ver inverter and also a uh, voltage adjustment, like say a variac, so you don't just run it on one, straight 120 and then you can get it down to maybe 10 watts or so, maybe 5. And uh, also you can take a transformer and take it right off this run cap bring the voltage down to about 15 volts or something and uh, charge batteries with that as it runs and then you have a, a circuit that senses the sine waves of the AC feeding the motor and you only pulse the battery at the sine wave peak and uh, that makes it so the motor doesn't even realize that you're charging extra batteries it'll just stay the same draw so there you go that was a rotoverter all right, thank you very much.